Welcome into Terrier Vision, Wofford fans. I'm Mark Hauser, and tonight here at Peden Stadium in Athens, Ohio, the Terriers open the 2010 football season, taking on the Ohio Bobcats of the Mid-America Conference. Here are your highlights. Third and nine from the 24, two receivers right. Quarterback draw, Allen straight ahead, 25-30. Slam down right about the stick at the 33 and a half yard line. Wing bone set, wide outs either side, no tight ends. Ohio, a 4-3 defensive set. Allen fakes left, now he pitches near corner and he's got Rucker with room. 35-40, Rucker across the 45, run out of bounds at the 47 into the Wofford bench. One receiver left, one to the right, wing bone set. In motion near side, one of the halfbacks. Pitch, far corner, Rucker dragged down from behind for no game. Second and seven from the 25, again on the right hash. Two receivers left, one to the right. Again, a single back for Bates. He will hand it away to Davidson, and one of the Terriers is waiting on him in the backfield. Back at the 22, Ament Paul throwing Davidson and the Bobcats for a loss. Terriers force the Bobcats into a punting situation. Paul Hershey gets away a wobbling spiral that will be taken by Burson at the 38, he fumbles the ball, picked up by one of the Bobcats, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Ohio, it is returned by Juni Posey for a score. They have one first down, but they're on the board as the result of a punt return fumbled and then picked up and returned for a score by the Bobcats. Here we go, fourth down and a short yard from the Wofford, 37, wing bone set, Breitenstein is your fullback, wide outs either side, Rucker in motion, hand and off, Breitenstein right up the gut for the first down to the 40 to the 42. Fourth and one here from the Bobcat 49 on the left hash. Reed, short split to the left, one man to the right. Wingbone set, in motion right, no check. End around on the toss to Burson, near side 50. First down 45-40, got a blocker out in front, 35 to the 30. That's a 19-yard run on the end around to Brenton Burson, first down Terriers. First and 10 from the Bobcat 29, up the middle, handoff. Breitenstein with room. 25-20. Breitenstein knocked over at the 15-yard line. Drive started at the Wofford 28. Now it's first and 10 at the Bobcat 15. Out of the gun, Allen pitch. Far corner, Rucker wants to make the corner and does. 15, 10, 5, drag down. First and goal. He's down to the two-yard line. Rucker picks up 13. Got a fine block from Clark Bishop. Second and goal from the one. Again out of the wing bone. No check. In motion right. Breitenstein over right side on the handoff. That's a touch. Touchdown! Eric Breitenstein is in from a yard away, and the Terriers are a kick away from tying the ball game. Redfern into it with his right foot, end over end, and it'll come to Posey near side at the 13 near the number. Slants left to the 20, and he has stood up at the 25, keeps his feet momentarily, and falls forward to the 26. Nonetheless, he took a shot from Philip Legrand on special teams. We have played one quarter here at Peden Stadium. Season opener for both clubs. Your score, Wofford 7, Ohio 7. Second and two from the 34. Bates running the option right here. Huge seam for the quarterback, 40, 45, 50, bowled over at the Terrier, 46. Matt Weller, 21 of 29 on his kicks last year, 37-yard try from the right, hash on the way, and it is good. Ohio takes the lead. 8-11 to play, second quarter. Ohio, first and 10 at the Wofford, 28. Twins right, a single man, Goulet to the left. Jackson out of the gun with a single back. Back to pass. Now he's going to step up, shovels it forward. Caught at the 25. Davidson, 20. Davidson to the 10. One man grabs his jersey and keeps him out of the end zone. He is tackled at the four-yard line. Third and goal from the three and a half. Out of the gun, Jackson takes the snap. Sits back in the pocket. Going to scramble to his left. Has a man to beat. Turns the corner to the five. Diving for the pylon. Touchdown, Ohio. And the Bobcats are up 10 points. 2.25 to play second quarter. Ohio with the ball up 17 to seven. Third and eight from the Wofford, 33 on the right hash. Four receivers set for Jackson with a single back next to him. Jackson takes the snap, under fire, and a Met Paul's gonna sack him back at the 40 yard line. It is fourth and long. Two receivers right, one to the left, out of the gun. Allen fumbles the snap. He was looking the wrong way when the snap came from Trey Johnson. Ball loose on the ground, and Ohio's got it at the 27-yard line. Two receivers right, two to the left. 
Jackson out of the gun with a back. Boykin flanking him to the left. Terriers, three down linemen, four on the line of scrimmage. Now five. Jackson back to throw. Time in the pocket. Puts it up toward the end zone. Intercepted. Tommy Irvin, 10, 15, far sideline, 20. Irvin to the 25. He'll be tackled at the 26. And the drive stalls out right there. We have played one half of football. Season opener for the Wofford Terriers. Your score. The Ohio University Bobcats 17 and the Wofford College Terriers 7. 10-13 to play in the third quarter. Terriers fourth down and a short two at the Bobcat 33. Allen up under center. Wingbone set, the fullback is Breitenstein. Rucker in motion left, he'll get the toss, first down and more. 25, breaks the tackle, far sideline, 20, 15. Mike Rucker dragged down by the ankle at the 13-yard line. First down, Wofford, a 20-yard run for Rucker. Third and four Terriers from just outside the Ohio 7. Two receivers right, one to the left. Rucker and Breitenstein, the backs. Out of the gun, Allen. Allen fakes the dive to Breitenstein. Rucker wants to turn right corner off the pitch, ridden out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Christian Reed about to make a 24-yard attempt from the near hash mark. He kicks with the right foot. Allen is the holder. Snap from Cummings a little high. The hold is down. The kick is on the way, and Christian Reed drills it, and the Terriers make it a seven-point game. Terriers showing blitz off the outside with one of their linebackers is Jackson. Looks like he's going to check off on first down and 10. He does. He's back to pass. Throws over the middle. Great adjustment and catch made by Goulet on a slant over the middle. He is tackled at the 11-yard line, 14 yards and a first down. Ohio looking to add to a seven-point lead. Third and goal from the three. Davidson and Boykin, two backs flanking Jackson out of the gun. And it's a handoff. Davidson left side, drives backwards to the two. It's fourth and goal. The Terriers stacking up Vince Davidson. The holder is Hershey. The snapper is Lavoy. Good snap, good spot, good kick. And Ohio's lead again is 10 points, but the Terriers keep them out of the end zone. One receiver to the right, one to the left, a wing to the right. In fact, they go with the wing bone this time. In motion, near side, Rucker. Allen, play action, time to throw. Deep down the middle, and it is broken up, but we're going to get a flag. Burson was the intended target at the Bobcat 25. At the Bobcat 49, center of the field. Man in motion to the near side, behind the formation, Burson. Allen fakes the dive, pitch far corner. And that's going to be Breitenstein breaking a tackle at the Bobcat 45. And rolling ahead to the 40. Fourth quarter when we come back on the road against an FBS team. The Terriers are very much in it. Ohio 20, Wofford 10. Fourth down and a yard from the Bobcat 29. Wingbone set, Rucker in motion right, fake of the dive. Allen keeps for the first down as he slips through a tackler at the 30 to the 25 to the 24. Third and 11 from the Bobcat, 25 left hash. Wide outs either side, Wingbone set, no check in motion right. Allen keeps on the option to the right, takes it to the 20, dives under a man to the 17. So he picked up eight, but he'll be three yards shy of the first down. This will be a 34-yard try. Low snap. Allen on the fake. Throws toward the end zone. Incomplete to burst, and we get a flag, but we also get the official throwing his cap. Brenton Burson was lined up as the wide receiver far to the left. Boo Jackson out of the gun. Terriers, three down linemen. They're going to bring five. Pass over the middle. Caught for a first down. Caught at the 45. The receiver is dropped at the 47-yard line. Fourth down, half a yard from the Terrier. 31. Jackson out of the gun with two backs. Quarterback keeper over the top with the leap. First down to the 29. Second down and eight from the 16. Twins left, single man right. Handoff, big hole left side. That'll be Boinkin, 10-5. That is a touchdown. So with 3.36 to play in the football game, Ohio now leads Wofford 26-10. Shelton and Rucker are the deep men for the Terriers. There's the kick. It's going to sidewind to the near side, taking at the hash at the 9. And that's going to be Shelton slamming left to the 20, 25, 28. The ball may have come loose. We've got a pile. Ohio says they have come up with the football, and we'll wait to see what the officials say. 
Ohio still claiming they have the ball, but the officials are unstacking everybody right about the 28. And Ohio has the ball. In motion left goes a tight end on third down and two. Handoff Jackson slanting left, untouched five, touchdown. Your final score here from Peden Stadium in Athens, Ohio. The Ohio University Bobcats, 33. And the Wofford College Terriers, 10. Coach, the final score is going to read 33 to 10, but you guys were in this ball game midway through the fourth quarter against a MAC team. We were, and if we hadn't put the ball on the ground, we would probably have won the game. Uh, our kids came up, uh, they played physical, they played hard, uh, but again, we, our ball security um, wasn't there. Uh, you know, we had uh, two critical turnovers on uh, in uh, the kicking phase. We muffed the punt. They took for a touchdown, and we fumbled towards the end. They got a touchdown out of that as well. But uh, I, I thought our matchup was great. Uh, you know, we knocked them around. They knocked us around, and, and it wasn't one of those deals where, uh, you know, we, we were in the wrong neighborhood. Uh, we, we had the opportunity to win the game. You know, you talked about a couple of things heading into the game. Number one was ball security. The other was just tackling. How do you feel your defense did in terms of the fundamentals of tackling? Well, I, I thought we tackled pretty well. Uh, they have some Cadillacs there at the quarterback position. Their halfbacks are kids that, that have uh, real good speed. And uh, when they broke a long run, it's because we just didn't fit the gap. Uh, but uh, when we fit the gap, we, we were tackling, we were knocking them back. and. And, and playing good defense. Uh, I was proud of the, our football team. I, I, the kids came up here to win. Uh, as a coaching staff, I felt like we, we were prepared. We had a good game plan, uh, but it, it comes down to you. we, we got to implement the game plan. you got to take care of the ball. That, that's the biggest thing. Just take care of the ball. If we do, then we've got our opportunity to win the game. What was the thinking on the fake field goal call, and then what was the officials call? Well, uh, we felt like that, uh, you know, that's something that we'd worked on. It was there. If we get a snap sooner, it's probably there by a mile. Uh, we thought that when the guy came over to cover him, he went and he just ran him out of bounds, and then we came back in, then it was pass interference. Uh, they said that he went out on his own, and therefore the, the, the call uh, stood the, the way that they called it. But uh, it was a chance that... Uh, that we felt like we could get, it was there. Uh, if we snap it a fraction sooner, it's probably a no-brainer. All right, Charleston Southern next week. Yep. What, do, what do you work on in practice this week? Better work on conditioning, because we're going to play. I think it's a 1 o'clock game. Uh, it's going to be hot. Uh, I think we're in good shape. Uh, Charleston Southern's a good football team. Uh, we played them last year. It was a tough game. Uh, they got better as the year went on. They've got a lot of players coming back. And uh, what we've got to do is be the best football team we can be. We, we've got to cure our ills as far as uh, working on ball security. Um, when uh, when we study the film, I, I think we'll see that, that we could have been a lot better football team and we'll need to be next week. We've stepped up a lot from last year. We're doing a lot better. Um, everyone's running fast. Everyone's covering. Everyone's tackling. Uh, we've got three more weeks till the conference games. Uh, we just got to sharpen up. Um, it was a big blow to us, but, you know, we just got to get better. We were in the game in the fourth quarter, and that's all we can ask for. And uh, at the end of the day, they executed better than we did. And that's, I think, was the deciding factor. What do you take away from this game? Oh, confidence. I mean, we, we know we can play. And we know we can play against good people. And uh, the little mistakes will and can and will be corrected. And um, I think at the end of the day, we'll be, we'll be just fine. So the Terriers drop their season opener here at Peden Stadium in Athens 33 to 10 next week on the road again at Buccaneer Stadium as Wofford will take on Charleston Southern. That'll be a 1:30 kickoff. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.